Hello, my fellow scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lanka, and I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose, and I am back for a bonus sensational sound waves activity. So we've already talked about what sound waves travel through, solids, air, liquid. We've also talked about pitch, high and low, but I've had some scientists reach out to me and say, you know, how do we show that sound waves are real? We can hear them, but can we see them? And I thought, hmm, this would be a great opportunity to do a very simple experiment in order to actually see sound waves. So let's do a quick review on how sound waves travel, and then we'll set up the experiment, and then I'll show you how you can actually see sound waves. So for our quick review on how sound waves travel, I'm going to use a lovely bird we had outside of the window this morning. There you go. So the sound that the bird was making was traveling by waves or vibrations through the air to me and my ear so I could hear them. Okay, so now that we've reviewed that, let's go ahead and set up our experiment. This is all we're gonna need for this experiment. A bowl, some plastic wrap, a rubber band, and some small dried objects. I've just got some rice, you can use confetti, you can use dried beans, just something that's about that size, and I'll show you how that works in just a second. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with our plastic wrap and our bowl and a rubber band to set up the base of this experiment. So I'm going to move my little objects out of the way, so I don't end up going everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and take a sheet of the plastic, pull this out enough to cover the top. Okay, and once I have that, go ahead and take that piece of plastic, and if you're using cling wrap, remember it does have a personality, <laughs> so just be patient with it. The best you can, you want to pull it so it's pretty tight, you don't see any wrinkles, or again, at least the best you can. The tighter you can do this, the better the experiment's going to work. It's got a little bit of a wrinkle, no big deal. Just to gently tuck it down, and you also want to make sure that you don't tear it. So that's, you got to be gentle. Okay. Then if you've got cling wrap, sometimes that's okay, and it'll just cling to the sides and be all right. If you're using any other type of plastic, that's where this rubber band can come in handy. I'm going to do... Let's go along the outside of the bowl. Again, really gently, don't want to tear that. That'll help hold that where I want it. So if you take a look, I'll look from the side, just like that. Okay, and once you have that set up, looks like a little mini drum, you're going to take your small objects, bring those back in the spoon, and just sprinkle a few on the top, just like that. And that's not an exact measurement, you just want to put a little bit on the top. And now you are ready for the next stage of the experiment to see invisible sound waves. I moved our experiment to another room and I put the bowl on a stool and I am actually sitting on the floor. And the reason is, is because, first of all, I wanted you to see that I am not going to be touching the stool. I'm not gonna be tapping on the bowl or anything like that. Second thing is, I'm gonna to need to get really close to that bowl in order to make a sound, but still not touching it. So I just wanted to make that a little bit easier to see. So what am I gonna do for a sound? Well, it's really easy for me to hum. So I'm gonna pick a pitch and I'm gonna hum and see if I can 
make those grains of rice move, therefore kind of showing how a sound wave is traveling. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get you close and get into your personal space. So hold on, here we go. I wanna get you close so you can see those grains of rice. Okay, now I'm gonna put my face right up here and you take a look. I'm not touching, I'm close, but not quite. Okay, go over here, pick a sound and here we go. Mm. Did you notice something? Let's try it again and pay attention more over to like the grains of rice are a little bit closer. Here we go. Mm. Looks like they're kind of dancing, right? Okay, so let's back you up a little bit and let's talk about it. Why did that happen? Well, we've been talking about how sound waves are invisible, right? Well, even though they're invisible, they are still there and they're vibrating, they're vibrations. So they're traveling through different things like air and water, which we did earlier this week. Well, in this case, they're traveling from me through the air, into the bowl, through the plastic, and then into the grains of rice, which are then hopping. It's vibrating all those different things, and that's the way you can see sound, is through those vibrations and how things change. Fun bonus activity, pick your favorite song, turn it up, and see how it impacts those little pieces of rice or solids or beans or whatever you have there. That's really fun to, to try. So that is how you can see invisible sound waves. That is our super fast bonus activity on how to see sound waves, their vibrations. The vibrations show you that they are there and they're actually strong enough to move things. Pretty cool, right? So hashtag below, show us your experiment and tell us what sounds worked for you, maybe what pitches worked for you, and even what songs worked for you. We would love to see all of that. I'm always looking for new ways to do these experiments. So I wanted to thank you again for your time and hope you enjoyed all of these different activities that we had with Sounds of Music this week. My name is Marie Lank and I'm with the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose and I will see you next time at our next episode of Sciences Everywhere. Bye guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.